Hey everybody, I'm John Rethett, welcome back to the shop. I thought I'd do a video on a, a complete rod build, kind of give you an idea of what you go through if you ever choose to build your own. Uh, it'll be the one here I'm holding in my hand. That's uh, for a customer who wanted the Ohio State Collars. We got the CRB, uh, it's an IM6 rod, blank six foot in the gray collar uh, with the scarlet wraps. And we had a little bit of silver and some marbling here. Uh, you can see we did a little, little marbling underneath the decal and underneath the hook keeper area. These are pretty simple wraps. Uh, there's nothing really extreme about this one. We all we did inlay these and I, I go through how to do that. Uh, everything from reaming out the handle and getting it glued up and, and set just right to finding the spine, uh, adding each guide, getting those wrapped and epoxied. Uh, you know, all the way through. These are pretty simple guide wraps. Nothing, nothing really hard to do. I think it's uh, it's an easy build. May do it in two parts. Not sure. Uh, just see how long it's going to be. But uh, that's what we'll do. Let's get started. Okay. So your next step is to fit your handle. Now this is a a cork handle, and it will go all the way to the butt. It's it's not a split grip, but you have to ream that out because of the they do not come to fit your rod blank. So uh, this is a reamer you can get from mud hole. Uh, it fits into the drill, makes it makes it really easy to ream. And it's with the, the cork, you need to be careful because you can take too much out too quick. So you can always take a little bit more. You can't put it back. So ream a little bit, fit, and then go from there. So you just insert it and. And you just continue to do that until it fits the blank. Uh, it's a little messy, but uh, get your excess out. Try and see if it fits. Obviously, I got a little bit more. So I'll get these reamed out, and uh, then we'll go on to the next step. Okay. So now that we've got everything reamed out. But fit your parts and just make sure everything uh, everything fits like it's supposed to. So here's the end with the butt cap on. Made a couple of marks so I know exactly where each piece is going to go. So your reel seat slips up onto your cork. A mark here so I know where to stop. Slide your foregrip down. And then also your winding check. All that is, it's a little rubber or vinyl piece that makes a nice little cover for the end of where the cork meets the blank. So the next thing we need to do is we'll take it all back apart uh, as far as the real seat, if you'll notice, it doesn't fit. So we'll have to build an arbor for that. We can use uh, masking tape, but we'll have to get the, uh, get the, uh, the rear butt grip here all glued up and then we'll slide this back, make a masking tape arbor where this slides down just snug. That's the way you want everything. You want it just snug. Because when you put the, the epoxy on, it'll act as, a, as like a grease and it'll slip down a little quicker. So, uh, I'll pause here and then uh, we'll get our uh, epoxy out and start mixing. Okay, so you want to mix your epoxy up with your, your kit and I uh, showed in the other video. You'll get this uh, Pro Paste two-part epoxy. Uh, it's it's a really strong epoxy and it's gonna it's gonna hold that on. Some things you need to know are get a popsicle stick to mix with, paper plate or whatever you want to mix it in, because once you're done it's throwaway. Uh, paper towel, some alcohol to wipe off, wipe off the excess. And one other thing you might want to do is as you slide this grip back down, you're gonna get a lot of epoxy built up on the end of it. So you can tape. Uh, take a little masking tape and run around the edge of it so you'll keep uh, keep that epoxy up off the cork or foam or whatever your blank's made out of. Just a little, it helps you a little bit uh, quicker cleanup. So when you mix this, you don't have to be that precise with it. Uh, gives you enough to do the whole job. Good size glob like that. <clears throat> Same one on the other part. Get two sticks. 
kind of get about the same amount. A little bit more resin here. <clears throat> Got about the same amount. And then you want to mix for about a minute. You'll see it, uh, the color change and get, get even all, all through it. So I'll get this mixed up and we'll come right back. Okay, so we're all mixed up. As you can see, it's kind of a tan color. Once you get it mixed, it'll be even. Uh, so you can go ahead and start slapping it on the end of the rod. You want a good bit, but you don't want uh, you don't want a huge amount. You just kind of up to my mark here, where I know the end of the cork will be. And get it all the way around. And I'll always take a little bit extra and uh, put up into the end because you'll have your butt cap on so a little extra won't hurt up in there. Up in the cap is blank. And then slide your cork down. As you slide it down, turn it so you get the epoxy all up into the cracks and the crevices of the, of the cork. It is pretty porous. I'm going to go a little bit past it and right to the end of the blank. In the excess, just use your popsicle stick. Get it right even with the end of your blank. Uh, and I'll take a little extra because this cap slides up on top of it. So I'm going to remove the tape. Take a little extra, put on the end. Now that you're good. If you get a little, a little sloppy, it'll come right off the alcohol. You can also put a little bit in the end if you choose, but I think we got to pretty good pretty good glob there so you just slide it right on there and they usually fit really tight kind of spin as you go and you'll see you'll get some excess so get a paper towel with some alcohol you wipe off your excess it won't leave a stain And just wipe it off. Try not to get any on your hands. You end up with it on the blank or on the cork, and you miss it. You leave a little glob there. And this stuff doesn't set up right away. They do make some. It's 15 minute epoxy. I like to have this stuff. It takes a while to dry. So as you're working, you can now. Like I said, this did not, this, uh, is bigger than the blank, so we're going to have to build an arbor. So, just take your masking tape, about to the end of where you made your mark. That's what the, while you mark everything so it's easy to do. And you just wrap that tape around. Got to stay behind your mark all the time. When you get to where you think you need to be, just cut it off and uh, try your real seat. Slide your real seat back down. And like I say, you want to fit snug, so we're not we're not close yet. So we'll wrap some more. So you can just kind of see how we're doing it. So I'm gonna stop here and. Uh, Get this wrapped up and get right back.
Okay, so we've got our arbor built, so I'll take up the space between the real seat and the blank. Slide it down, make sure it fits good and snug. Take it all the way down. See here we've got, uh, now we've got a solid, uh, solid base for our real seat. So, next, add some more epoxy. You really want to get a lot in the center in between the two gaps because uh, that will build up that little bit right there. And when this stuff dries, it is rock hard, so uh, you don't have to worry about that. And it'll soak down through the masking tape as well. Just a little bit, uh, we didn't go quite to our mark. So you can add a little bit more to the end, seal it up good. You don't want any water or anything getting down in there over time. It will degrade it if it does. Make sure get plenty on the end. And then just cover the whole thing. All the way back to the, to the rear grip. Same here, add a little extra back to uh, back to the rear to fill in whatever little gap might be left. Can't hurt to have a little extra. <coughs> Get a bit up on top where that real seat slides up on it. Okay, now we can slide our real seat back down and twist as you go, just like you did before. Oh, one other thing. Add a little bit of tape to the rear of the real seat. Just help with you clean up a little bit. It doesn't, doesn't end up all over the trigger and everywhere else. Twist as you go. Any excess, you can scrape off if you need to. A lot of it will fill up inside of that, inside of the real seat. Get a little bit too much there. We'll just take another popsicle stick and take the excess out. Slide it all the way up onto your fork. You kind of line it back up with your mark as you go and get a little closer. You'll have to probably line it up one more time. And then get rid of your excess. And you can go back once you get it all together. Give it another wipe down. Now the next thing you want to do is foregrip. So we know where it's going to be. So we can go ahead and add a little bit of epoxy to that. And if you'd happen to go too far, it'll come right off. A little gap here in between the blank and the, and the real seat. Go ahead and try to fill that in with epoxy as well, as much in there as you can. That way you won't get any water or anything up in, in there. Now 
And you can wrap it, some tape around the uh, around the threads as well. Just help a little extra clean up. Doesn't take a whole lot. As long as you stay in that first uh, first threads right there, it won't hurt you if, if any gets in there. Slide your foregrip down. A little bit more in there. And twist as you go. Some excess. Mm -hmm. All the way down tight. Mm -hmm. Wipe off whatever squeezed out. And now the only other thing you have is your winding check on the end. I use a toothpick for that. Uh, you just need just a little bit to hold it. Just kind of put a little bit on there. Slide it down. Take your thread pick, handy little item for that. Just kind of twist it as you go and push it down. Whatever squirted out there. And there you have your handle. And, uh, remove your tape. You may have a little excess glue on there, but like I say, you can just go back and, and uh, wipe it right off. And before everything hardens, you want to line your reel seat up with your mark that you made when you found the spine. It's really easy. Just has it set up so you can turn it as you need to. It's about right, so. There you have your handle, step one of building your rod. Uh, we'll go through this, uh, laying out the guides and then getting everything wrapped. And uh, we'll see you when we get to that step.